Hi everyone and welcome back to another Warframe video from me, Leonidas Triple G. Now this time I'm going to be talking about the Rapala list. The Rapala list which is the last large boss introduced in Warframe. Now I affectionately, affectionately call it the Rumpa Loompa because that's what it is. Let's be honest. I don't like this boss. I don't. I don't think it's a it's a good introduction into the roster of bosses that we have in Warframe. So the flight alone, Mr. Rumpa Loompa, Mr. Rapolo list is um well it's not a bad boss. I mean I don't like it, but it's not a bad boss. It's just a puzzle. You know, don't really have to fight it. The first time I fought I fought it I had no information about it, I didn't saw any video, didn't went on the internet, just said, okay, I'm gonna fight it solo just to see how it works. And you know, we had, had a few trial and errors in here and there, but I went with Chroma because I thought, you know, I'm gonna have to fight it hard. But when I got there, it was all about just using the elements to fight it. You know, I realized that the, the, the operator was necessary to take out his shield. I also realized that I could grab it, although you can't always grab it. You know, sometimes there's a bug or there's a, uh, no, the camera turns a certain way or he's in a certain stage and you can't grab it. Um, and he light up, light up those lanterns with his shot. And, you know, you get to go there and you switch the lanterns, the lanterns uh, energize, and then you have to, you know, board him. With, <laughs> and you even punches him, there's a little animation, then you fly with him against him. Now, after you've done this, after I've done this, I was completely lost because I was shooting the Sidonians like, okay, he's gonna go down. And I was shooting the stone, shooting the stone, and shooting the stone, and there was nothing happening. No, he, he went down a little bit, but then his energy came back, and he went I was like, what the hell am I supposed to do? And there was no indication that the front console needed to be activated or was even activable. You know, there was no signal there, no, no, you know, the, the, the little yellow icon that says oh no you have to go here to you know it this does something because when I arrived I thought that was the elevator I, I press a panel I go in and then the panel is there uh, at, uh, when finding the boss and I was like oh that's that's the panel for the elevator I never imagined that that thing would actually fire a shot so the first time I fought it with chroma after I don't know 15 20 minutes I just gave up and said oh, man I don't know what the hell I'm doing I have to go out watch a video watch the wiki or something to come back and know how to fight him and that was, you know, it was a disappointment. Uh, after I realized how to fight him, I then, you know, finally figured it out. Okay, there was no, no actual need to have a buffed frame for, for, for the, not, not a, you don't need a, a chroma or a rhino, which is good, which I think is good. That way every Warframe can get, get in it. The problem is, and this is what really pissed me off, I can't use Limbo. They nerfed Limbo to fight this boss. Because, you know, this boss can kill you instantly. And when the enemies are all around you, when you're in the platform, they can do aggro to you. And uh, so my idea was, you know, I'll just take Limbo and be in Rift and do the puzzle, because this is what it is. It's not about actually killing him or doing a lot of damage, just doing the puzzle really fast and then killing him. So imagine my surprise when I couldn't do it with Limbo. I mean, I was furious. I was furious because I've seen Limbo being nerfed all across the game, but that's a subject for another video. And now I arrive here and I can't even use him. And you know, that's when I said, I mean, this is, this is not, this is not a boss. This is a, this is a gimmick. This is a puzzle for us to, to solve. And um, yeah, I, you know, I eventually ended up doing it with Wukong. So there's a video about it that I've made, I've put it in the description, but you know, I really didn't like it. And worst of all is that they promise the digital extremes promises promised us a lot more i remember when orbalis came out they said okay the next open world will have the new idol and they showed orbalis and orbalis had like a, a meteor on top and i was like hey man we're gonna fight it there but is it they spoke that you know it's gonna be in that meteor the meteor is gonna go up up and down maybe they will put the 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 idol on there and I thought, well, the meteor is going to up and down, so when it comes down, we fly to the meteor with our Arcwing. Then we have to shoot the, the, the flight along down. We then you proceed to doing what we do with the well, while filing it, which is use the operator and then use a, a big cannon against it, probably the arc gun. And then it flies away, and then when he, in the last, maybe the second stage, it's when he maybe tries to 
flee from the, um, the meteor and we have to chase it with the Arcwing and I thought, man, it's going to be amazing, man. We're going to use uh, different Arcwings, different Arc guns. We're going to be able to do everything that we have in the game, which is the Operator, the Arc guns, the Arcwing and the Warframe to fight it. But no, they just did this little thing, this little gimmick. They didn't even put it like in the top of the, of the rigs, you know, where they could use the same the same system, you know, three lanterns and a big one to give it uh, like a big shock and something. But it, it could be like in an open area, like you would just see clouds above you, maybe some ships flying around. And maybe you can even use the Arcwing to get to certain places. The lanterns could be, you know, in a certain distance and you could activate the Arcwing to get there faster or something like that. But no, they just did it like, <sighs> they introduced it in the gas city. They put it like under the rig, which is a very close set. Or something that flies and you know ultimately the more I played it the less I liked it I played it just enough to get the wisp I don't I don't and now I, they didn't even put arcanes there or new arcanes there you could get the, the rare arcanes but no they didn't do it they just put wisp parts there and then they put the the, 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 the new amalgam mods and that's it so once I finished getting wisp I said I'm out of here I'm never I'm not gonna play this again not at all. So, yeah. This is my view on the Repolis. I'd like to hear your opinion about it. What do you think about it? What do you think it's cool? What do you think it's not cool? It's not cool. Um, what did you expect and what you didn't? Uh, for me, I expected a lot more. I'll be honest, I expected a lot more. And, like I said, the fact that I can't use Limbo there, you know. I mean, nerfing a passive on a Warframe is... It's a new level of low for me. So, yeah. No, I'm not. I didn't like it. So the Rumpa Loompa stays where it is, and I'll be doing another video soon. So thank you very much for watching. And if you like the video, like and subscribe. If you didn't put there that you didn't, then write a comment saying what you like to change or maybe your opinion about it. And I very much appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. This is goodbye, and as always, have a great game, guys.